robots that demonstrate Chinese Tai Chi and breakthroughs in artificial intelligence have drawn students like Jane Wu into computer science. I think the moment for me was during my freshman robotics elective that I took called Autonomous Vehicles. And in that class, we got to make our own autonomous robots from scratch. Harvey Mudd College, with just 800 students, is part of an educational cluster called the Claremont Colleges, and it stresses engineering. It is also a leader in breaking down barriers to women in computer science, which started for one student with an introductory class in computer coding. It was a very balanced class, and I think the professors also do a very good job of uh, making sure everyone feels welcome regardless of their coding ability. Women were pioneers in the early days of computers when Grace Hopper, who was later a U.S. Navy Rear Admiral, helped invent programming languages. So she is the original coder. Um, and I think it was only kind of in later decades, 80s and 90s, that um, computer games and kind of the idea of computer programming kind of got heavily marketed towards um, boys rather than girls. Now many young women are rediscovering programming. With coding, I can just have my computer, have some programming language I'm working in, and I can make almost whatever I want. Internships in industry are part of the training. Student Samantha Andow is heading to Microsoft this summer. I'm really excited to see um, all the problems that computer science is working on right now. Without the best and the brightest on the keyboards, regardless of gender, we're not going to get as good solutions and as much progress as we need on the problems facing the world, whether it's climate change or education, health care. Mott College President Maria Clave says today's problems require the creativity that diversity brings. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Claremont, California. That's awesome. That is a challenging problem. If you did even more than the maze.